as a translator, you're a part of the final step of creating the strings for this game. Your job is to translate what exists in the master language into a specific designated language. As a translator, this is the view that you will be met with when you log in. So you will have your projects to the left, and to the right, you will have the grids that you have access to. Now, there are two major grids that you need to look into. One is um, where we have the dialogues one is where we have everything that needs sound, so voiceovers and subtitles. And in the UI, we have all of the things that are, um, well, everything else that's not, uh, that doesn't need a specific sound to it. Um, you also have the characters. Uh, reference grid that you could look up. Um, so if any of these have reference to a character, you could look that character up in here to get more information about the specific character. So let's look at the dialogues. So here you have all of the different views for the translators. So you could see that there are a bunch of languages here. So these are filtered on specific languages to make it easier for you to translate. You have the Fatrick ID, you have the priority, and you have the master, which, is you, which you will translate from, and the target that you will translate to. Now, you can see that there's a little icon here, uh, a lock icon. That means that you cannot change this um, cell, you don't have permissions to do it. But you can absolutely change this one. And there are some notes here that you can see that um, this is unset. That means that you haven't uh, translated anything to this language before. Um, it also has a few different states. It has out of date. And that means that some someone has changed the master. So the writer has changed something, and it could be due to whatever. And then um, this will turn yellow, and it will basically give you an indication that this needs to be retranslated. And um, this view is already filtered. So it will only give you uh, things that you need to work on. So if the translation, uh, translation is done, it will not be visible in this view. And if you look here, and uh, there's a lot of different things, um, but basically there are some contexts, so you know what it's doing. Speaking to is good to know that this will be filled in. Currently it's not, but it will be filled in with, um, so basically if you're speaking to a single person or a multiple person, you have the character name uh, and you have the character uh, gender of that character. So it uh, you do have a bunch of things um, that is needed for your translations. Um, yeah, and I think um, I think that is it.